Hello everyone and welcome. I've done several security camera reviews before, but today we'll be looking at the smallest and cheapest indoor security camera that I have come across. Some of my viewers have asked me to review inside security cameras or baby cams, and I thought it would be cool to look at this indoor security camera that is compact, stylish, and affordable. The other cameras that I've reviewed were big and bulky. This thing is so small, you can place it on the corner of a bookshelf and not even notice that it's there. It has a handsome design and is convenient for keeping an eye on things that are important to you. This camera works as an indoor security camera, but can also double as a baby cam, elder care cam, or puppy cam. No matter what your need is for it, I think you'll find this camera quite useful. So let's unbox this puppy and see what I got. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you so you can get a better look at it. And let's unbox this baby. Okay, so when you unbox this bad boy, this is everything you get. This is the indoor security camera from Conoco available on Amazon, link in description below. At the making of this video, this whole setup retails for $28.99, but they do have an $8 discount coupon, so this whole thing actually runs only $20. That is the cheapest camera I've seen for indoor use on Amazon. And what you get is basically the camera itself, you get the brick to power it up, you get the USB cable to power it up, and you get some mounting hardware because you can actually mount this on a wall or on a ceiling if you want to use it that way for security purposes. But you can put it on a table, on a bookshelf, or anything like that as well. The camera itself only weighs 18 ounces and it's only 3 inches by 3 inches by 8 inches, so it's very, very compact and small. Like I said, you put this on a bookshelf, put some decorations and stuff around it, you won't even notice that it's there. And it is USB powered, it is not battery operated, so you need to be able to plug it in somewhere. The video is 1080p HD video, and it has excellent night vision as well, with clear vision up to 32 feet, so that's pretty much any room size that you can put it in, you'll be able to see clearly the entire layout of the room in night vision. As far as video storage, you have a choice of either cloud storage or it does have a slot for an SD card and you can put the video in there and not pay anything whatsoever. It does use financial grade encryption and security for privacy. You can also add more cameras to the app and have it all set up on your own private account and you can add more family members as well if you want different people to access the account and be able to see the camera. For example, a husband and wife keeping track of their baby, or a husband and wife keeping track of their puppy, or family members keeping track of an elder family member, things like that. Different people can access the same account. It does have two-way audio, so it has a built-in speaker and microphone, so you can talk and communicate with the person on the other side of the camera. It does have push notifications where you get notified where it either notices activity or sound in front of it. It goes to sleep when it, there's nothing going on, but the minute it senses something, it will notify you that there's actually something going on. It does pan, tilt, and zoom. It'll pan 355 degrees in all directions there. It'll tilt 100 degrees up and down, and it'll zoom eight times. It does work with either the downloadable app, which I'll talk about in a little bit, or you can hook it up to Alexa, and it will work with Alexa, and you can tell it what to do using that way. The app is compatible with iOS, Android, Mac OS, and Windows, so you don't only have to see it on your phone. You can use it on different sources and look at it in different ways. So this camera is useful for home security, office security, shop security, baby monitor, elder monitor, puppy cam, pretty much anything you can think of as long as it's for indoor use. I'm going to be using it here in my shop to keep track of things as well when I'm not here. So that's what I'm going to use it for. All right, so let's look a little further into the app and so forth and try to hook this baby up. 
All right, guys, let's go through and talk about exactly how to set up the camera with your Wi-Fi network and all that kind of good stuff. Now, I'm going to talk about how to set it up with the app that you download. I don't have Alexa, so I'm not going to set that up for you. I'm sure it's, if you have Alexa and you want to go that route, I'm sure it's the same as setting up any other device you've already installed through your Alexa product. So I'm sure you're familiar. It should not be any different from anybody else. Anyway, if you're downloading the app, all you're going to need is the camera, your smartphone, and the instruction manual that comes with it. The instruction manual, the first thing you're going to do is open it up to the front page, and it has a QR code. You're going to scan that QR code, and that will start downloading the app onto your phone. If you're going to do it for your tablet, computer, any of that stuff, you go to their website, and you download it directly from their website. But let's talk about the phone, mostly. So if you're doing it on your phone... Hit the QR code and download it. Then it has pictures here in the instruction walking you through everything you're going to need to do. Very clear, concise, easy to walk through and follow it. Very simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the, the uh, application, set up your password, set up your username, all that kind of good stuff. You know what to do. Very simple. Then you're going to enter all your information for your Wi-Fi, your name of your Wi-Fi, the password for your Wi-Fi. Very easy stuff, no problem there. Once you get it set up on your phone, then it's going to tell you that you're ready to add your camera. What you're going to do then is you're going to press a button on there when you're ready. You're going to scan the bottom of the camera. The bottom of the camera has a QR code built into it. Every camera is going to have a different QR code. So what you're going to do is you're going to scan that code. It's going to tell you that it recognized it. Then it's going to tell you to press another button to activate it. The phone will talk to the camera, and that's it. You will have it activated. The two will work together. You'll have it on your network, and then you can just go into the application and make the adjustments as far as the quality of recording you want, the brightness, sensitivity, flip the screen if you're going to be mounting it on the ceiling, something like that, all sorts of stuff like that, whether you want cloud storage, SD card storage, all that kind of good stuff, right in the settings, no problem there. Customize it to whatever works best for you. And then you're ready to go. And I already did all that kind of stuff, and I'm going to show you some footage right now of how the camera works and what it looks like. Okay, guys, so here we are looking at the view of the camera through the app, the phone app. You're looking at the screen of the phone app as I'm recording it. And as you can see, this is an HD 1080p video. So you're looking at the inside of my shop right now. I have the lights on, everything's lit up, and you can see the controls on the bottom of the screen there, and that's how you control the application for whatever you want to do with it. But if you click on the screen, they all go away, and you don't have to look at them all the time. And basically, you can see up in the corner, the little Wi-Fi signal telling me my Wi-Fi is not that fast right now. A lot of things going on. So there may be a little bit of a lag time. But I'm moving the camera from side to side so you can see how it works. And I'm tilting up and down, panning and so forth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm on the other side of the house. I'm walking towards my shop right now. Like I said, I'm not in the shop. I wanted to see how this would work from far away. So I'm walking towards the shop right now. And I'm going to go to the door and turn off the lights in just a moment so you get a feel for how the night vision looks. So I'm walking my way towards there right now. Should be arriving any second. You're obviously seeing this in real time. So let's see, there I am. I just walked in and I'm waving my hand in front of the camera. So let's see, what I'm doing is I'm controlling it through the phone. Let me turn off the lights and let's go to night vision. And there you go, the camera has to adjust a little bit, but that's night vision. There is no lights in the shop right now at all. So that's very clear night vision. You can see everything very nicely. And you can still pan and zoom. You can see me right there on the side. There you go, hello. And I'm gonna move around, pan it back and forth, and that's it. That's how easy it is to work the camera. Okay, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of the cheapest Alexa-compatible indoor security camera on Amazon. This is a great little camera, in my opinion. It's very compact, stylish, unobtrusive, and easy to use. It is also very budget-friendly. Whether you're looking for an indoor camera for security monitoring, baby monitoring, elder monitoring, or puppy care, this camera will suit your needs. Works with Alexa or the free downloadable app. Check out their Amazon page for full details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.